Hi everybody, this is Kerry from Edway Rocket and today we are going to see how to use the gallery block slider. For this tutorial we are going to use the structure we built in the first gallery block video tutorial which was called Getting Started. If you haven't watched it, please click on the link which appears at the bottom right. For this video I have the gallery block version 1.0.8. So just a quick look before we start, if I look at my albums I have the four albums we added in the previous video and if I look at the sites I have my four albums which link to the individual albums and from there to the individual image. One thing to understand is the slider layout only works for the album view. We're going to work on this page today. Let's have a first look at the settings and for that we're going to the visual editor. As you can see on the left hand side I'm editing the album post type and this is where I have my gallery block editing the album view. So if I look at the options I see I have my album view and I'm going to change the layout to slider which will then show the slider tab and that is where all the slider options are. So first of all let's have a look at all the options and then we're going to use it in different ways. The first option is next and previous navigation this is the arrows navigation that appears on the slider image and you have the choice to show these arrows only on hover and that would be using the second option. The loop option is when you're on the last image of the slider it would allow you to click next and takes you to the first image. If loop is disabled then the next navigation button will be disabled. Slideshow speaks for itself. It would automatically scroll through the slider images and you can set the slideshow speed when it is enabled. For the slider hide method you have three options. The auto crop would take the smaller image of the image set and set all the other images to this height. The manual crop would allow you to set the images to whatever you want. And the animate will animate the slider height depending on the image height. The effect is pretty straightforward is the transition between the images so you have fade or slide. If you click on slide then you can set the direction horizontal sliding or vertical sliding. Then you have the slider speed which is the transition speed. The easing option is to set the transition animation and the best way to get familiar with this one is to actually try the different options. The last section is for the pagination. If it is enabled it will show a simple pagination and if you click on use thumbnail it will allow you to click on the image to show it in the slider. For that you can show all thumbnails and if it's set you can see that the number of thumbnail option is gone. You can choose the number of thumbnails to display and you'll have a navigation to go next and previous to see the rest of the thumbnails. The container spacing would be the side of the thumbnail spacing. The thumbnail spacing would be in between each thumbs. You can crop the thumbnails vertically as well and set the height manually and as well as the slider you can show and hide the next and previous navigation and you can decide to only show it on hover. We haven't changed anything and let's have a look at how the slider looks out of the box. So there we are, we have a simple nav navigation at the bottom. The main navigation arrows are showing all the time and not only on hover and the transition effect is to fade and it's a simple swing easing. Let's try a different combination of options. Back to the visual editor. I want to show the next and previous navigation only on hover and I'm going to enable the slideshow and reduce it to 4 seconds. I want the effect to be slide and vertically and I want to increase the animation to 1.6 second and the easing I'm going to choose is in and out elastic and leave the pagination as it is. Let's have a look. So we see that every 4 seconds is changing and the animation is not a simple swing but is in and out elastic and is animating vertically as we said. Let's try another combination and this time we're going to use the thumbnail pagination. 
you will notice that when we enable view thumbnails, the slideshow option disappear. Reason being is the slideshow can't be used if the pagination thumbnails is enabled. I'm going to change the easing to in and out quad to make it different. Change it to one second. And this time we're going to change the effect to horizontal. And we want to show only four thumbnails. No container spacing, a little bit of spacing on the thumbnails by default, and we want to show the next and previous navigation for the thumbnails. Let's have a look. So we see the four thumbnails at the bottom, and I can scroll through my different images and also scroll through the thumbnails to view the next set. Now these thumbnails are a little bit big, and I actually want to show all of them I don't want the carousel navigation for the thumbnails. So for that, I'm going back to the visual editor and I'm going to click show all thumbnails. And let's have a look this time. So as expected, the navigation is gone and I see all my thumbnails and they have been resized automatically to fit the website width. My image heights are also different and for this instance, I want to enable the animate height. Let's have a look. So in the slider height method I'm going to change it to animate. Let's have a look. So we can see that the image are being animated, the height is being animated, but because it is sliding horizontally it doesn't look too good. So to deal with this matter, we can simply change it to fade. And we're changing the slider speed to 650 millisecond. Let's have a look. So now we see when we change, the animation is a lot smoother. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to have three thumbnails and centered in the middle. Uh, for that, I'm going back to the visual editor and I disable show all thumbnails, enable only three. And as we could see before, when we had four, it was quite big. So this time we're gonna add container spacing. We can actually add 400 for this example. So we can see that we have the three thumbnails and we have the spacing on the side which made, makes them centered and they automatically resize according to what you've set in the block option. Again, I can scroll through all. If I wanted the arrow to only show and over, then I would enable the show and over option, which we've done for the slider. We can see that the arrows only appears on over. And the last thing we're going to do is to crop the images, the main images as well as the thumbnails. And for that, I am going to change the set height option to manual crop. And I'm going to leave it to 200 and set the crop thumbnail vertically. And I'm going to change it to 30. Probably not going to look very pretty, but is to show you the different scenarios. There we see our slider is 200 height and the thumbnails are cropped as we've set. And to change it back to what it was, I would simply disable the crop thumbnails, for example, and it will automatically resize it. For mobile users, the slider is responsive and also touch friendly. So they will be able to scroll through the thumbnails as well as the main slider. That's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. More videos about hover, links, etc. will come as we go. And follow our Twitter account if you're interested to know when the future videos will be available. See you next time. Bye-bye.